We have seen the clinical history of this case in the previous video. In short, clinically, young female presented with multiple brown papules over vulva. Microscopically, vulval biopsy at lowest magnification shows irregular acanthosis of aptelium and marked cellular abnormalities. Low power view shows marked crowding of cells, high nucleocytoplasmic ratio, nuclear pleomorphism, disorderly arrangement of aptelial cells in lower and middle layers, and relatively more orderly maturation of upper layers. Parakeratosis can also be identified. Lamina propria shows mild lymphocytic infiltration. Higher magnification shows cellular crowding, high nucleocytoplasmic ratio, anisonucleosis, and pleomorphism more clearly. One bizarre nucleus can be noted highlighted by a circle. Another circle shows coilocytosis of few cells as evidence of HPV infection. Overlying parakeratosis is more prominent. Another high magnification view shows abnormal methodic figures situated at various levels in the aptelium. Based on these histological findings, diagnosis of bovinoid papulosis of vulva was made. This condition is also known as vulva intraaptelial neoplasia or carcinoma in situ. Main differential diagnosis of bovinoid papulosis is Bovin's disease, which is also intraaptelial carcinoma of skin. Main differentiating features between these two conditions are based on clinical findings. While bovinoid papulosis is seen in younger sexually active people and is considered a sexually transmitted disease, Bovin's disease is seen in older patients. Bovinoid papulosis is associated with human papillomavirus infection, generally HPV-16. However, other HPV genotypes may also be associated. On the contrary, Bovin's disease has no HPV association. Bovinoid papulosis has female predilection and presents as single or multiple brown papules with sharp borders in an genital region and resembles genital warts, while Bovin's disease has no predilection for any sex and presents as patches or plaques anywhere on the body but more commonly on the extremities. Bovinoid papulosis may regress spontaneously, Bovin's disease does not. While Bovin's disease shows progression to invasive squamous cell carcinoma in 3 to 5 percent cases, of which one third cases metastasize in bovinoid papulosis, progression to squamous cell carcinoma is rare, and this condition has benign clinical course and is treated conservatively. Histological differences between these two conditions are minimal, but are more severe in Bovin's disease as compared to bovinoid papulosis. Both are characterized by full thickness 
epidermal abnormality, and pleomorphism of aptelial cells, nucleomegaly, high nucleocytoplasmic ratio, loss of polarity, presence of dyskeratotic cells, multinucleated cells, multiple, methotic figures, abnormally located, above basal cell layer. However, bovinoid papulosis shows maturation of superficial epidermal layers, in contrast to bovin's disease. Parakeratosis and hypergranulosis may be seen in bovinoid papulosis. While bovinoid papulosis may show presence of coelocytic change and other HPV markers, Bovin's disease is not associated with such changes. Bovin's disease is usually associated with involvement of pilosebaceous units. Bovinoid papulosis is not superficial, perivascular, lymphocytic infiltration, and vascular dilatation in the dermis is more marked in bovinoid papulosis as compared to bovin's disease. Thank you.